Coffee. Hey, good afternoon guys, it's Andy from Motors Cades and Coffee. Today, I'm on my way to pick up a motorcycle. It's the dead of winter in Maryland. Whoops, snow on the ground, pretty cold out. Perfect time to go buy a motorcycle, right? Well, sometimes it is. Um, I'm a little hesitant to buy motorcycles in the winter because it's really hard to test out and drive and so forth. But this one, uh, the guy sh showed me some video of it running and operating, so I'm a little bit uh, more willing to go drive uh, to go pick it up. Um, it's also a better time to buy motorcycles for the buyer because no one wants to buy and you can usually get better deals. People are really wanting to sell in winter if they sell. So you usually get better deals and this is the case. So what am I getting? I found this really cool 1981 Kawasaki 1100 LTD. And what's this motorcycle all about? It's a four cylinder, parallel four cylinder in line. I think it comes with either 102 or 108 stock horsepower in 1981. And it's black and red and has these cool 80s vibe retro looks to it. Um, looks pretty amazing. Kind of has a, um, it looks better than a VMAX in my opinion, but it kind of has that VMAX high horsepower cruiser looking motorcycle. It's shaft drive. Um, the, the take on these is that they're not the unbelievably best handlers. They handle pretty decent, but they are just stonking fast and it looks really, really rad. This seems to be in fantastic shape. The guy did a lot of work to it. Um, so I'm going to go uh, check it out and uh, I already put a deposit on it and uh, hopefully go buy it. So I'm on my way. Going to pick up a trailer and, uh, and haul the motorcycle. Maybe go for a little test drive. I'm here. I'm just going to go because I want to get going pretty quick. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start running and then we'll go. Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, yeah. New tires. Okay. At least front. Yeah. The, the Back's rears. little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably use a rear here pretty soon. Yeah. Air shocks. Yep. Okay. I think they had like 102 or 108 horsepower from the factory or something like that. Yeah, let's do it there. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty stout, right? Yeah, it hauls as you get. Okay, out. cool. Gotcha. And start, show me uh, how it starts, if you, if you don't mind. And, oh, yeah. and that's, what, that's about it. I mean, it hasn't started today. So that's fine. That's fine. That's exactly, that's exactly what I want to see, you know? Yeah. Okay. So it's a two position. It's actually yeah. a choke. It's like a error. It's a yeah. fuel. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Couple minutes, I'll take it all the way off and you can see that. That's fine. So the bike's pretty rad. He's grabbing the title. It started right up. Um, man, that's pretty cool. Um, the graphics are pretty wild. You know, 81 kind of looking style. Yeah. Um, excited to uh, take it out and get it loaded and then we'll take it for a spin uh, when we get home. Uh, he has a little Triumph 750 hiding in the background there. Looks like that can use a little work. It's a cool bike too. All right, so I got the Kawasaki home. I'm gonna actually test drive it and ride it today. Um, I can tell you a couple things about it. Um, it. It has a center stand. It's really hard to get to on a center stand. Um, let's see. Seating position is a little weird on it. It's very comfortable on the handlebars, but it's mid controls that are very tucked back. Um, uh, my Suzuki GS1000L has a little bit more forward, I think a tiny bit more forward. These ones are, are kind of hard to get to, and these engine guards make it, and the engine make, make it hard to get to uh, the brake and the shifter. They just stick out a little bit. Um, it shifts, so this is how I'm sitting, I'm 5'9", handlebars are very tucked in narrow, um, they're not out here, they're definitely like beach cruiser, but they're um, a little more narrow than what I'm used to. Um, brakes feel fine, the grip position feels fine, um, we'll see how the mirrors go, instrumentation seems pretty well laid out, um, it's not quite as cruiser-esque as I would have thought for, for, for
for feeling, for sitting on it ergonomically. It's um, a little more standard. Uh, I guess the, the the engine being far out there uh, kind of makes that um, a necessity. So we'll go see how it, it uh, rides. The seat's pretty comfy, um, but it's definitely, uh, you got your hips almost directly over your, your legs. It feels they're a little forward. They're not back, but, but you're definitely bent. And you're not um, raked out by any means. Probably should give you a little bit more control. So we'll go for a ride and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. But this is how I look. All right, we're gonna go start it up right now. It's um, about maybe 47, 48 degrees out. Everything's melting. See how easy it starts. Key on. Choke out. Um, oh, it's in gear. Let's take it out of gear. There we go. Switched a little bit on the starter, but it started right off. I hit the starter button. I mean, I hit the, yeah, let's start it again. So there's the instrumentation, uh, high beam, low beam, flashers, oh, that's really nice to have. All right, there's a the horn, and there's your run start off. All the lights work. That is it for controls. I'm gonna suit up and uh, we'll go for a ride here in a second. <laughs> 